welcome to another video. So, I've covered a bunch of alternatives to Cursor, and all of them are good. But Zed has been one of the best because it's super customizable, open source, and everything. Although, previously, it didn't have a proper feature like Cursor's Composer, now it does. And I've tried it, and it works really well. So today, I'll be telling you how you can use ZAI with tab auto-completion and everything that Cursor has for free. Because currently, Zed is giving out free Claude 3.5 Sonnet to use with no limits. You can also configure it with Gemini, your own API keys, and local models, which is great. One thing Zed doesn't have built in is auto-completion. So for that, we'll be using Super Maven because it's supported by Zed, and it's free. Let's get started and set it up. First of all, download Zed and get it installed. Once that's done, open it up, and you'll see something like this. As you can see, it's a very basic and simple editor-like interface. You can open your project directory here, and stuff like that. I've opened a blank project here, as you can see. Now let me show you the main AI features and how you can use them. I'll give you a full breakdown of each feature so you can follow along and understand everything. Also, I'll set up Super Maven after I walk you through the main AI features built in here. So, first of all, before we can access any of the AI features, you'll need to sign in with a Z account, which you can easily create by clicking this icon at the top. Once you're signed in, you can access the AI features. To access the AI Assist panel, you can either hit Command plus R, or just select the Assistant panel option, which will open up this panel. Now, this is where you can use the models and chat. But before that, let me show you how to configure the models. To do that, just click the Configure option, which opens up this screen where you can update API keys for your providers, like Anthropic, Gemini, and you can also configure Olama here. But, if you're signed in with a Z account, you'll see that you have basic access to Anthropic's models for free. That's how you configure the models. Now, let me show you how you can use them, and I'll also show you the new composer-like feature Z has. First, you'll see the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model here. Just select it. You can do simple chats by sending messages, and you'll get responses. But there's something else you can do as well, which is that you can change the system prompt and create your own artificial threads by adding your own system prompt, assistant reply, and other elements to get better responses, which is really cool. That's the basic stuff. But aside from that, there are many other things you can do. To see what else you can do besides simple chat, just hit slash, and you'll see a bunch of options. Let me walk you through these options one by one. First, you have the diagnostics option, which will pull in diagnostic information from the code base, like linting errors and stuff, that you'll see in the editor. Next, there's the prompt option, where you can select from saved prompts, which is handy if you use similar prompts often. Then, there's the workflow option, which is a composer-like feature where you can give it a prompt, and it'll propose changes, which you can accept. I'll show you how that works, but first, let me tell you about the other options. Next, there's the terminal option, where you can send output from your terminal. For example, if you have an error in your terminal, you can easily send the output from here. Then, you have the symbol option, where you can reference a file and send the symbols of that file, which is pretty cool to use. After that, there's the default option, which simply sends a text prompt. You also have the fetch option, where you can send a URL, and it will fetch the page's results and reference them in the chat so you can ask questions about it, which is pretty neat. Additionally, there's the file option, where you can upload a file 
and chat about that, which is also a useful feature. Lastly, there's the tab option, which adds the currently open files to the context. That's also handy. Now, before I show you the workflow option, let me show you the inline assist option. To start inline assist, you can hit Control plus Enter or click the inline assist option here, and it'll open up this bar where you can enter the prompt for the code you want to generate from scratch, or you can select code you want to refactor or edit, and it'll make changes based on your prompt, which is amazing. Now, let me show you how you can use it with workflows, which can do multi-file editing based on your prompt. To do that, go to the Assistant panel, and here, enter slash workflow to enter workflow mode. If you're working on something new and don't need to change existing files, you can just enter what you want to do. But if you want to change something in existing files, you should add the file with the file operator. It's generally better to do that so Zed can read and modify the file properly. But since I'm starting a new project, I'll leave it as it is. Now, let's keep it a bit complex and ask it to create an arcade space shooter game using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it over and see. As you can see, it's doing that now, and it's pretty fast. Let's wait for a moment. Okay, it's done. You can see that it has proposed the changes here, and we just need to click the Transform option, which will apply the changes. You can review them, and if everything looks good, just click the Accept button, and it'll be applied. After that, you can save it and repeat the process for all the steps. Once done, the application is ready. Let's preview it and see. Okay, it works really well especially for a one-time generation. Plus, it's free for now, which is amazing. After this, you can ask for more changes or use the inline assist option, which is great for editing chunks of code or generating new smaller sections, which is very cool. Now, the last thing is auto-completion. For that, we'll use Super Maven. It's super fast and free. To set it up, just go to Settings, and in the inline completion provider, change it to Super Maven like this. Once done, you'll see the Super Maven icon at the bottom. Click it and sign in. After that, you can start using it instantly, and you'll see how fast it is. It handles code completion well, and you get something very similar to Cursor for no cost. Even if it becomes paid, I believe Zed will launch their own plans like Cursor's for those who don't want to use API keys. Or, you can plug in your own API keys and use that. I think supporting open source projects like Zed is important, rather than paying companies that profit off open source projects. Anyway, Zed is super cool and works really well. Also, if you think the workflow feature isn't as good, you can use Ader which offers a more feature-rich composer-like tool. You can check out my Ader plus Zed video for that. Zed and its AI features are awesome, and I think it's definitely going to give Cursor a run for its money. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.